far, 52 were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, it's a real blessing when I hear the various testimonies from brothers and sisters, how the word of God has pulled them out of all kind of things, be it gang banging, be, uh, whether it's drug dealing, drug selling, having their own drug laboratory, coming off the streets of prostitution. And this is what the word of God does. It clean you up if you want to be clean. It will straighten you up and then straighten you out. It's a very tough message. It's a very rough message. As I said, moreover, sometimes the devil makes people look at how I sound. And they get mad at me and use that as an excuse for not obeying what God says. And I often tell people, just, just ignore how I sound and pay close attention to what we tell you. And if you obey what we tell you from the scriptures, you will find that it will be the best decision that you will make in your lifetime. Because any time a message will keep you from eternal damnation, that's the best message you will ever obtain. So we are indebted to God for God's mercy. And I want to say to Seattle, Washington, God willing, this weekend coming, if it be the Lord's will, we're looking to be there, God be our helper. I read some of the comments and some was upset that I didn't make it to Vegas. And uh, <laughs> I'm only one man. I only can be in one place at a time. I do get tired. I do get uh, ill, believe it or not. I really do. So I believe some think I'm Superman. But I'm not. I say like Paul, I'm a man just like you. When I left Philadelphia and went to Florida, we left, it was 30-something degrees. When we went to Florida, it was close to 80. And my body was not ready to sit in the midst of air conditioning. And I caught a fever in Florida and came back with the same thing. And so uh, I didn't need the Lord to speak to me from heaven and say rest, especially when your body is telling you. So we rest and got some rest, and I never get enough. Because I'm always playing catch up, always trying to catch up. When you see our schedule, we travel much. It takes a lot to save souls. If I was doing it like these mega church preachers, I'd be well rested every day, every day. And they are the lifestyle of the rich and famous and sitting back after they give a good motivational lecture with no anointing to wear them out. Not sent by God to preach nothing to nobody. Sent by the devil just to give you a lecture. A lecture to hype you up, make you feel good, make you believe you're a Christian. And you're just as far from Christ as East is from the West. So my job is to bring you close to God. I don't travel to make friends at all. I'm not a mean fella, as some folk think. <laughs> I'm a pretty nice guy. But when it comes to the Bible, I'm just going to tell you what's right and what's wrong. And it doesn't matter to me whether you like it or not. <clears throat> so that's what I'm sent to do. I'm sent to bring you God's intelligence. The intelligence of God contradicts the intelligence of men. The way God think about something and the way we think about it has nothing in common. It is not the same at all. If it was, I would be at one of these parks here in Los Angeles looking at a ball game or sitting on a blanket 
eating a chicken sandwich. I wouldn't be here preaching to you. <laughs> Not at all. It takes a lot to want to be right. Especially when you're surrounded by so much wrong. Let me remind all the brothers and sisters, not just here in California, but abroad. We hope to see everybody, the many thousands. We hope to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina, April 15th, 16th, and 17th at our International Youth Conference. That is for everybody, all the members of the Truth of God family from East, West, North, South, foreign countries, everywhere. Make plans to be in Greensboro, North Carolina for the International Youth Convention. They'll be there for many parts of the world. And then our next convention is our International Holy Convocation, which will take place in July. Keep tuned and you will be notified what location. We wanted to have it and our main auditorium and the headquarters temple, but that won't be finished yet. So we want to have it where we don't have to use the overflow room because, as I said, people come from so many foreign countries, and I take under consideration how they feel sitting in the midst of so many hundreds, and there may not be enough room in one auditorium, so they go in the overflow where there's a screen, and they are grateful, but... Uh, they don't want to come all the way from Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, and got to sit and watch the screen. They want to be in the auditorium with everybody else. And so I want to take that under consideration and try to have everybody in the auditorium. So we hope to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina, April 15th, 16th, and 17th. Everybody, we hope California be there well represented out of every city in this whole wicked state. Be there. Amen. Some don't hardly travel nowhere. You did a lot of traveling probably when you was a sinner. Look at the many amens. <laughs> Partying and acting like a fool and going to visit your friends and hanging out and cutting the devil. And I think of my brother and sister that came over here to California from North Carolina just to be in this service. Did you fly or did you drive? You flew? Oh, good people. <laughs> Well, just the fact, the truth of the gospel is worth going from one end of the world to the other. You can never drive or fly too far. Amen. <clears throat> I think of those that came from the Ukraine to Philadelphia to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And them that came all the way from Australia to Philadelphia to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. From Africa, from Germany, people really want to be right. You have one soul, and if you're wise, you don't want to lose that soul. All right, let me update you. <coughs> of those that were baptized, as I mentioned, 52 so far here in Los Angeles, California, one in Fresno, California, three in Sacramento, 41 in Las Vegas, 11 in Houston, one in Texas, uh, one in Deer Park, Texas, 17 in Fort Worth, one in San Antonio, Texas, 15 in Indianapolis, Indiana, three in Milwaukee, 12 in Detroit, two in Grand Rapids, Michigan, one in North Chicago, two in Lafayette, Louisiana, three in Minnesota, seven in Bronx, New York, three in Baltimore, two in Fredericksburg, Virginia, five in Portsmouth, Virginia, eight in Raleigh, North Carolina, Six in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. One in Florence, South Carolina. Nine in Atlanta, Georgia. Three in Mobile. Three in Jackson, Mississippi. Four in Memphis, Tennessee. Two in Orlando, Florida. One in Del Mar, Delaware. Twenty-four in headquarters. And one received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's a blessing. Three in Canada. Two in Dubai. One in Brisbane, Australia. Eleven in Sydney, Australia. Two in Johannesburg, South Africa. And one week. 262 souls baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now I want to remind all of my brothers and sisters that are here in Los Angeles, service go on every Sunday at 11 o'clock here at 3201 Riverside Drive at the Friendship Auditorium. That's here in Los Angeles, California. Service is every Sunday at 11 a.m. 
3201 Riverside Drive at the Friendship Auditorium. Now, I also got a notice here on May 1st, uh, I guess there's some type of event going on in here, and, they, and we can't utilize the place on May 1st. But otherwise than that, every Sunday morning, 11 a.m., be here. Now, Las Vegas, Nevada, God willing, I try my best to make it up to you. I set aside a day, if it be the Lord's will, some time, and so I can get down there to you and uh, make it up to you, and you come on back out now. And... Uh, <laughs> Come on back out. Never be the type of person that some folks say, well, you should have canceled service. You're not there. What are you talking? The Bible is bigger than Pastor Jennings. The Bible ain't centered around Pastor Jennings. I got to center myself around the Bible. Amen. Amen. So uh, if I don't make it somewhere, don't go home. Hearing the word of God is more important than seeing me in person. And if I send someone to you, I'm going to send someone to you, and I sent Evangelist Taj to Las Vegas because I knew my brother, he would do a good job because Taj make it his business to stick one trillion percent with what the Word of God said. And I thank God for that. That, that gives me good confidence, and it makes me feel good. So, uh, so we are thankful. So Las Vegas, don't write me and ask me when. <laughs> Just give me some time. We'll be in Seattle, and then after that, we have the youth conference coming up, and I hope I see all of you. The many thousands that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, get your tickets, get your plane, get your uh, motorcycle, get a scooter, get a surfboard, and find out what wave is going to North Carolina. <laughs> you make your way there. When we have these conventions, we come together to celebrate the greatness and the goodness and the magnificence of God. That's what we come together for. Because when we think of it, all of us have a testimony how God Almighty have opened up our understanding, brought us out of some form of darkness. The greatest day of your life is when God interrupts your life. God interrupts mine. Amen. Many, many years ago, over 45 years ago, God interrupted my life when I was in a so-called apostolic church, raised up in it. <coughs> my great uncle was the false prophet. I want to say he was a family member. Family member don't make you holy. Bible make you holy. Uh, he started out doing pretty good, sticking to what he knew until the devil got a hold of him when some women came into the church that was ungodly. He catered to them more than he catered to the word of God. And they started changing his mind and changing his heart as the women did to Solomon. The very things that he began to preach against and the very things that he tore down with the Bible. When those three blind mice was done with him, Amen. He built up everything he destroyed. He started denouncing section by section, piece by piece, precept by precept. He started denouncing the things that God said. And you know the Bible says this, if you build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. How many preachers have done the same thing? Many of them start out with a church, maybe about the size of the stage. And then when the church became maybe about as big as this auditorium, and it's not even a cathedral, they start changing. Start throwing that out the Bible, throwing that out the Bible. Now you can't tell the church is no different than you could a club or a circus. I would knock on my former pastor's door. I was a young fella in my teens. <coughs> knock on his door and ask him to... You know what happened? The Bible says this, the Bible says that, the Bible says the other. And now you're preaching this and you're preaching that and you're preaching the other. He gave me all type of excuses. And one of his most popular sayings was, God agree with me and I agree with God. And I asked him, all right, 
But still, where is it in the Bible where such and such a thing was preached or allowed? He got so mad with me, I'll never forget it. He stood up in his office and pounded on his desk. He said, that's your problem. You always want Bible for something. Then he said, you will never find a church that believe all the Bible. If that's the case, everybody going to hell. And I mean everybody from pulpit down. Don't you know the book of scriptures is our spiritual GPS system that guide us straight into the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen. You know, <coughs> when you're lost, they make the cars now with the GPS system. They make a phone with the GPS system. Take you right where you should go. The word of God is our GPS system to New Jerusalem. All right. oh, you got to do, blessed be the name of God, is get on route one. There's no curves in this highway. No, no. no bends. No sharp curves. No sharp left. No sharp right. And it's not wide. No. Mm -mm. Very, narrow. Very narrow. And you better not get in a hurry. You better take your time because straight and narrow is the way right. that leads to life. And a few that be that find it. Right. Well, I'm so glad I found it. And I'm on it. And I'm declaring to the world, not an angel in heaven, not a devil in hell, and nor is there a man on earth that have what it take at all to get me off of this straight and narrow path. I'm, I, I'm here to stay here, and I've made my home here, and uh, I'm determined to stay there until the Lord our God come. That's why, whether in sickness or health, with God help, he calls us to thunder this gospel. That's right. And when I look at every place where this message go and the souls respond to it, you know it has to be of God to respond to a rough, tough, knockout, cold message like this. This message knock you out cold. Oh, yes. Make you angry. Make some cuss down within. Amen. Make some mad until they got to go outside and pace around. And, and they say to themselves when they hear us preach, did he say what I thought he said? <laughs> did he really say that? You know, people, they are surprised at our frank talking. That's right. But uh, I can't help the way God made me. Right. Pastor Paul, by God's permission, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, Set under the feet of Gamaliel, who was a Pharisee, taught Brother Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. Paul declared by God's permission, though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. So I know a lot of time of what I said sound rude, sound mean, sound harsh. But it's right. You don't like to be told you're going to hell for your sin. You don't want me to tell you that. How many want to be told they're going to hell? Raise your hand. You see what I mean? Nobody wants to be told they're going to hell. This will make it somewhat funny. They don't want to be told they're going to hell, yet they know they're on their way. It's like speeding. You don't want to take it, though, do you? But you want to hurry up and get moving. One thing I say about Los Angeles traffic, well, the traffic in California, period. I don't care how in a hurry you are. <laughs> when you run up on all these folk, everybody has got to take their time and get where they're going. All right, I want to work on the highway here. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, and we'll start at verse 8. All right, follow me. Isaiah Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 35 and <coughs> the 8th verse. All right, viewers, your hard head, stubborn things out there. Amen. Get your Bible. If you're sitting in your false church and I popped up on your phone and your false prophet is in the pulpit, get out. That's right. Go in your car and watch this message on the phone. You're better off. That's right. You're better off than listening to your wife trying to preach to you. Amen. 
You're better off than listening to your mama trying to scream to you from the pulpit. You're better off than sitting under a rainbow flag that's waving over your pulpit. Am I right, Isaac? That's right. Do you hear this? Isaiah chapter 35 and at verse 8. All right. And an highway shall be there. Glory to God. You better begin at verse 7, if you will. Verse 7, and the parched ground. Chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 7. The parched ground. Shall become a pool. Shall, be, palm, shall become a pool. And the thirsty, and the land, thirsty land. Springs of water. Springs of water. And the habitation of dragons where <coughs> each lay. Yes. Shall be grass with reeds and rushes. What did he say? And an highway shall be there. Listen at this, viewers. And an highway. And here, and you that are here this afternoon. God have a highway here. Highway. And. And a way. Spell that. W-A-Y. Not ways. A way. One way. God only have one way, one setup. That's right. One truth given from one God That's right. who's making one people. He set up one church and got one doctrine to govern that one church. And everybody got to do the same thing to get in that church. That's right. Otherwise, in that, you will never get in and you will never go back with God. That's right. Do you hear what he said? And a highway shall be there. A highway. Glory be to God shall be there. And a way. And a way. And it shall be called. Shall be called. The way of holiness. Right. <laughs> Amen. You may as well get a benediction right there. <laughs> That's right. God's way is called what? The way of holiness. Yes. Amen. There ain't no need to claim you anything else. No. Anybody that's anything else, what you got is wrong. That's right. I didn't stutter. I didn't trip over what I said. That's right. I said anything else apart from what God said, I don't care how loyal you are to it, how long you've been in it, how much money you gave to support it. That's right. If it's not in that book, it's wrong. That's right. And God didn't start nothing wrong. No. Do you hear what he says? And a highway shall be there. And highway. Shall be there. Glory to God shall be there and a way one way and it shall be called the way the way of holiness what else did he say the unclean shall not pass over. all right sinners hmm. <laughs> that's right god don't get no joy out of sinners singing no. god don't get no joy in sinners making a so-called gospel album right. god don't get no joy out of sinners trying to wish up he don't get not a drop of joy out of it right. at all at all because he declared what? The unclean shall not pass over. Unclean. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shall not pass over. If yes. God said it, that's the way it is. That's right. He don't get no joy out of it. No. Santa, if you want God to get joy out of you, you got to change your nature. That's right. You got to be born all over again. Oh. Amen. Of the water and of the spirit. What I mean, you got to repent of your sins. Mm -hmm. Be sorry for being a fool. That's right. Out there acting like a fool. That's right. A wild, barbaric, dancing, loud fool. Amen. You know you're out there. Your mama's out there. Your daddy's out there. Your sons and daughters, your slap happy grandpappy and your uh, kitty cat eyeglass wearing grandma. That's right. She's out there She's trying out. to shake her dislocated hips. That's right. Eh? Amen. What? The unclean shall not pass over. You unclean thing, you. Un unclean. Amen. Hips dislocated. Grandpa got a toupee on, protected by mothballs. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Your daddy is out there with all them chains around his neck yeah. like he's a miniaturized version of Mr. T. Amen. Your mother's out there, 65, trying to dress like she's 16. Y yes. We're living in a sick society. That's right. Young men got their pants hanging down. Don't want to know whether he wants to be a male or a female. So the wife said and the father said, we'll call our children they. Mm. Won't call our child him, him or her. We'll call them they. That's right. All right. You want to call them they, then I'm going to tell you. They are a fool. That's right. That's right. God made a male and female and female. That's right. 
That's what he did. Oh, it's that God's what God made. That's what he did. All of creation, you might as well come on back to the Bible. You're going to have to do it. If you got in mind to go back with God, everybody. That's right. Oh, it's that God, you're going to come back 100%. That's right. Okay. Everything what God says, or he's going to drop they and them right. in the lake of fire. And a highway shall be there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A highway shall be there. Shall be there. And a way. And a way. A way. That's all God has. That's right. One way. In the time of Adam, they were ordered to do one thing to live. That's right. Touch not the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Mm -hmm. When you obey that, you live. You live. In the time of Noah, if you wanted to be saved, you have to come in the ark. That's right. You, if you didn't like Noah, that's your problem. That's right. If you didn't want to drown, come in the ark or else die. That's right. During the time of Nimrod, when they all built a tower to reach heaven, that was the time that God let man do what he wants to do. Do what he will. Not now. Oh, no. In the days of Abraham, he told Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. That's right. That was the example for everybody to follow. That's right. To be complete in God. Yes. Follow the instructions that God gave Abraham, the father of many nations. That's right. Moses, come on here. Blessed be the name of God, and God gave Moses the law. That's right. To govern Israel. That's right. And brother, that law was tough too. Oh, yes. And uh, it is written, he that despised Moses' law. Well, you died without mercy. That's right. You didn't have no other option. No. Here come Jesus, who was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Manifested in the flesh. That's right. Walking the earth, leaving a infallible, perfect, sound example for the world to follow. That's right. He come along and said, and he that believeth on me. Mm-hmm. As the scripture has said. Jesus saith unto him. <clears throat> Listen at this. In St. John chapter 14 and verse 6. <clears throat> uh -huh. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said what? I, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the way. I am the way. Look at here. Amen. All these different ways here in, uh, here in California. Well, Arizona too. Yes. I was about to say Arizona, but I can't change my mind because they got a lot of ways too. That's right. On my way here, churches all over the place. You That's know, right. California got a lot of mountains and hills. <laughs> you got churches sticking out the mountains. That's right. Like the close to heaven, some of them folk gonna get. Amen. Sticking out the mountain, hanging off the ledge of a cliff. Amen. Eh? Amen. Jesus said what? I am the way. I am. I am Not the way. Not we are. I am the way. I am. I am. I am. One. That's right. One. That's right. Just I one. Am. Amen. That's got one to follow. That's right. And when you follow that one, what is it? I am the way, the truth. Truth come from one. And the life. Life come from one. No man cometh unto the Father. No man can get to the Spirit. But by me. That mean this. Jesus said, I am the door. That's right. In order for us to get to the eternal life, which was in that flesh and blood, right. we first have to accept the performance of the natural life, mm -hmm. which was the flesh and blood. That's right. So God was manifested in the flesh, and the flesh that he preached in, <clears throat> healed in, taught in, walked in, talked in, that flesh was nothing but a pattern left for us to follow of good works. That's right. God left an example for us in flesh. In flesh. How to live holy. That's right. Thank God, and after he left that example, that body was put to death in the flesh. That's right. All right. Back in Isaiah chapter 35. Yes. And a way, and it shall not pass over it. Unclean. 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 You know what unclean is? Dirty. That's right. Sinner. That's right. A homosexual will never get in the kingdom of God. No, unclean shall not. And not at all. That's right. You will never get here, 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 here now. That's right. You can go to a church and they can paint the whole church the color of a rainbow. 
Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But a homosexual, a drunkard. a drunkard, you better give me the first chapter of the book of Romans, if Ye you will. Yes. Amen. And give me the last three verses. The last three verses. Not just homosexuality. That's right. If you indulge in any of these things that, and you never repent for it, That's right. you're not going to get in. Romans chapter 1, we'll start at verse 29. Listen. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Verse 28. Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. <clears throat> That's the way the world is now. That's true. <clears throat> they don't want God in their knowledge. That's right. They want to learn about money. That's right. That's why they go to these mega churches. Mm. The mega church ain't giving you God in your knowledge. No. They're giving you prosperity in your knowledge. Amen. To, to motivate you in a good sounding speech so you can feel good that day. That's right. Amen. Feel good that day and, and then uh, to make them better you feel, the broke you become. That's right. And to make the preacher more easier for him to rob you out of your money. That's right. Uh -huh. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. What is that? God gave them over to a reprobate mind. You know, a reprobated mind. Listen, when God gives you up to a reprobated mind, yeah. I don't care what you try. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do. When the Lord gives you up, nobody can save you. That's right. <clears throat> do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. If God gives you up. Right. To a reprobated mind. Mm -hmm. You can't repent. You can't be restored. No. You can't be saved. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many people fast for you, pray with you, put an oil all on your head, or dip you in an entire container of oil. That's right. When God give you up to a reprobate mind, there's nothing nobody can do. That's right. Hear this. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over. To a reprobate mind. To a reprobated mind. To do those to things, do those which things are not convenient. that are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Do you hear this? Amen. Get this, viewers, and you that are here. Being filled, filled with all unrighteousness. Now you judge yourself. That's right. You see, are you filled with any of these things that Williams is about to read here? Judge yourself now. That's right. And if any of those things fill you, you better repent today. That's right. Repent today. Amen. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ today. That's right. Oh, we'll take God and get on a straight path today. That's right. Yeah. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with all unrighteousness. That means the devil got you filled from head to toe. That's right. Being filled with everything that's wrong. Fornication. Fornication. If you're filled with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wickedness. Filled with wickedness. Covetousness. Filled with covetousness, desiring somebody else's anything. Maliciousness. Filled with maliciousness. Full of envy. Full, full of it. Full, full of, of it. it. Jealousy. Murder. Use a murderer. Debate. Debate. Deceit. Trickery. Malignity. Malignity. Whisperers. Whisperers. Backbiters. Backbiters. Haters of God. Ha what? Haters of God. Being filled. You see, I hate the Trinity, but I don't hate God. No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, Amen. The Holy Ghost. Hey. Haters of God. Spell God. G-O-D. You see, I hate G-O-D-S. That's right. Did that's you right. hear Pastor Jennings? Amen. I said I can't stand G-O-D-S. That's right. I hate it from the depths of my soul. That's right. But G-O-D, I love him. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God, I say I love him. Oh, yes. With the G-O-D, I fight all the G-O-D-S. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. All right. Haters of God. Haters of God. Despiteful. Despiteful. Proud. Proud. Boasters. Boasters. Inventors of evil Inventors things. Inventors of evil things. Disobedient to parents. Inventors, Inventors of evil things. Of evil things. Oh, hey, thank God, when that man know he's a man, and then that doctor try to fashion his anatomy yes. like a woman's womb. Mm -hmm. He's an inventor. Of evil things. Of evil things. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Go oh, with that Inventors. God when that man know his chest ain't out there like a woman. Amen. And he go to Silicon Valley yep. and come on back with big old hubcaps in his chest. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Inventors oh, of evil things. God, like he got a Ferraris on his chest. That's right. Inventors. Of evil things. Of evil things. Evil you things. You know the Bible covers everything, don't oh, it? Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. Fake fingernails. Inventors. Of evil things. Of evil things. Fingernails with rhinestones on them and all of that 
foolishness. Skirt so right. short, it's like you don't have nothing on. That's right. See through clothing to deliberately advertise your underclothes. Inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. That's right. You know, God saw all this coming. Oh, yes. And he had this written so I can preach it. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't like me. God you know, saw it coming. Yes, and did. then when God sent a man, God make that man preach everything in the Bible that God saw coming. That's right. That's oh, why yes. they don't like us. They don't like you. They man, like they you. try to censor me. Yes, they do. Hey, Amen. They try to censor me. That's how strong the message is. That's right. But my God, when you want to be right, yeah. God will make a way for you to hear it. I think when I was, uh, <clears throat> I was in Miami, Florida a few weeks ago, and a long line of people, like always, after service, going all the way out the door, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a gentleman that gave me a brief testimony how he heard of me. He said he never heard of me in his life. He heard of me in the most unlikely place, Amen. in a comedy club. Lord. He heard of me in a comedy club. Lord. Uh, there was a message we preached when we was hammering on the way women look, and we was talking about the way whores are and all that, and someone took an excerpt of that message, and they figured if they put it out there and give people opinion, mm -hmm. that uh, it'll make Pastor Jennings look bad. Right. But my God, man, they had no idea they was working for Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they was working for Jesus. That's right. Brother, that thing went viral. the seven or eight or nine million hits. Wonderful. Just that one excerpt. Uh, using a mark in my voice mm. and was saying what I said. He said he never heard of Pastor Jennings and the comedian called my name. Pastor Jennings said you the whore if you're dressed like such and such. And he <laughs> said Pastor Jennings? Mm. He said after the comedy club was over he went and Googled me, and he never heard of me. Amen. After he heard it, he got hooked, got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and received the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. Huh? Wonderful. Even many celebrities that are here in California, right here. Amen. Watch the program. Amen. Watch it. Too tight for them. Wonderful. I was in the airport, and there was a gentleman who knew who I was, he was uh, on his way to California. He just said he came off the stage during the performance with the comedian Cat Williams. Mm. He said, Gino Jennings, we all watch it. Mm. He said, sometimes we be in the dressing room, got you on the phone, watching you. My Lord. And then he said, I, he said, one time I thought about doing a skit of you. Then I said, no, that man is too real for me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the world Wonderful. is watching. That's right. If you don't obey it, that's your business, but God help you. If you die before you obey it. That's right. Your gold albums won't help you. Your oh. Emmy Award won't help you. Glory to God. Amen. Your Grammy Award won't help you. I don't care if you got your name on some cheap man-made star That's right. on the Walk of Fame. That's right. What is that? What is that? Glory to God. The true Walk of Fame is when you step in the gates of New Jerusalem. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's what I want. Hallelujah. Go right to God, Hallelujah. go to God. Oh, yes. I don't care. Hallelujah. Nothing about your star. That's right. Go right to God because your name is in light. That don't mean nothing. No, no. Your name is in light. That don't mean a thing. That's right. Let me walk, thank God, in New Jerusalem. That's right. Thank God so I can see my Lord. That's right. What did he say, son? Inventors of evil things. Inventors. Of evil things. Blessed be the great God of heaven and earth. Inventors of evil things. Disobedient to parents. Hard head children. That's right. We're living in a time now where children want to tell their parents what to do. That's right. And I tell all the children of the earth, if you get to the point you're so grown, you don't want to obey your parents' rules, mm -hmm. the next best suggestion, Amen. the most intelligent suggestion, mm -hmm. get your own house. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And good broken English from the hood. Get your own crib. That's right. Pack up. Pack up. Get out of there. Amen. Pack up. You so much of a man, you so much of a woman, yeah. 
make your own rules under your own roof. Otherwise, in that you under your parents' roof, you got to respect those rules. That's and if right. you think you don't have to, then the parents got the right to usher you out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Usher you out. That's right. Oh, it take God in God house. God have rules. Oh yes. That's why he got the word of God here to govern the church. the church. He told the apostle Peter, "Upon this rock, I build my church." He said, "I will build it." That's right. Now, if Jesus is building the church, everything he put in the church, yes. no man can come along and take it out the church. That's right. That's right. He said first in the church apostles. apostles. And that's what he said. Mm -hmm. And no need for no rabbit to come along and try to hop around and take it out. And God He's here. Mm -hmm. Here, listen at this in the book of Corinthians now. First Corinthians 12 and verse 28. Remember Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right. And look at what he declared. And first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Says what? And God has set some. God. God. Not Geno Jennings. God. God has set some. In the church. What? First apostles. You ain't no apostle and you got women preachers. No, no, no. You ain't no apostle, you got women deacons. No, 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 no. Oh, no. no not at all. Not at all. For being an apostle, you got to be God called, God sent, God made, God anointed, God instructed. Hallelujah. You got to be hand picked by heaven. That's right. Somebody wrote me and said to be an apostle, you got to walk with Jesus in the flesh. That's a lie. That's Paul a lie. didn't walk with him in the flesh. That's right. Another one wrote me and said to be an apostle, you got to witness his resurrection. That's a lie. That's when he lie. rose, Paul was nowhere around. That's right. That's right. But Paul said, last of all, he was seen of me. And he didn't see him in the flesh. He saw him in the spirit because he been died in the flesh and rose and ascended above all heaven. And God has but said God so. Had all, every office that was in the church then, yeah. and being that it's only one church, those same offices or those same positions is in the church now. That's and right. you better not tell me God changed it because he said I'm a God that changed not. That's right. For this cause, the sons of Jacob shall not be consumed. And God had set some in the church. You see how we keep it with the Bible? Amen. If God say he did it, we're going to stick to that. To that. Huh? That's right. If God say he did it, you better not bring me nothing. I'll move on you. <laughs> That's right. That's huh? right. That's right. You better not bring me nothing else. I'll move on you. God knows. Amen. What is that? And God had set some in the church. What? First apostles. First apostles. Secondarily prophets. Secondarily prophets. prophets. Thirdly, Thirdly teachers. teachers. After that. After that. Miracles. miracles. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Help. Help. Government. Government. Diversity of tongues. Diversity of tongues. Are all apostles? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of no. miracles? No. Have all the gifts of healing? No. Do all speak with tongues? No. Do all don't say all don't speak in tongues. No, let me show you why. 16th right. chapter of the book of Mark. That's right. <laughs> Mark chapter 16 and verse 17. What is that? And these signs, these signs shall follow them that believe. What is it? In my name they shall speak with new tongues. In my name they shall do what? They shall speak with new tongues. That's why I say no. Some tongues is for believers. That's right. If you're a believer, then all of them that believe what the word of God say will speak in tongues. That's if right. If you someone say, well, I don't speak in tongues because I don't believe in it. That's why you don't speak. That's why. That's right. That's right. You need to argue with me. Amen. Eh? These signs shall These follow. Signs! Shall follow them that believe. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm a believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. I'm a believer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If I wasn't a believer, I would never drop on my knees and start tearing. That's right. When you're a believer, it makes you cry out to God. Go ahead. When you're a believer, it makes you tarry and wait for the Holy Ghost. That's right. These signs Hallelujah. shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. Glory to God. Shall follow Follow. Follow them that believe. When you're a believer, oh yes, it's gonna make you seek the Lord. That's right. For the Holy Ghost. That's right. If you didn't get it Monday, you're coming back Tuesday. That's right. And if you don't get it Tuesday, you're coming back Wednesday. That's right. You're gonna tarry on tarry till. until. Why? Hallelujah. Because I'm a believer. That's right. Oh, we take God. Let's go back to what the Word of God said. Back now. in First Corinthians 12 and at verse 20. All right, now let's go on back. The highway shall be there. Back in Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 8. Phil, get this now. And a highway shall Listen be there. Listen now, viewers, and you that are here. God has set up a highway. A highway. One way for you to journey on it. Everybody got to hit the same route. That's right. Everybody got to do the same thing. Everybody got to walk by the same road. That's right. We don't just work on preachers out there. We also work on preachers in the truth of God. That's true. Huh? That's right. Because you know, in my experience, when you have churches in foreign countries, sometimes the devil get in a lot of the fellas and think, well, because we're not in America, we ain't got to preach the same thing. Who are you? That's right. 
This is not an American gospel. No. This is a heaven gospel. That's right. This is not a, a Western gospel. That's right. This is a heaven gospel. Amen. Whether you in Jamaica, whether you in the Bahamas, whether you in Australia, whether you in New Zealand, whether you cross the South Pacific, whether you in Europe, cross the Atlantic, whether you in all the Caribbean, whether you in Canada, everybody got to speak the same thing. Now I beseech you, brethren. This is what the word of God said. In first and if the Bible says it, you got to do it. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. And if you and if you refuse to do it, we will disassociate ourselves from you, That's right. even if you claim you're in the truth of God. That's right. Come on, say you'll do what? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, brother. I took this stand years ago. Oh yes. I, I, didn't I do it, Will? Yes, you have. I'm not that did. close to no. Uh, listen, I'm more closer to God That's than right. I am to the human family. That's right. That's one thing. Amen. We won't spare the preachers out there. We won't spare the preachers in here. That's right. All of you brethren that are watching, whatever you preach, has got to comply 100% That's right. with the Bible. Amen. Huh? Amen. If I, if I got to preach from the Bible and William Reed, who are you? That's right. What is like a brother getting up and saying, I ain't got to preach from the Bible. Mm. I get mine by revelation. You's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. That's a lie out of the pits of hell. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You ain't got to read the Bible when you preach. Mm. You ain't got to stand up and read so the folks can follow you in the Bible. My Lord. And here the Bible says Jesus stood up. That's right. In the synagogue. In the synagogue. And read the scriptures. That's right. Even you better get that. Even yeah. the eunuch was reading. Yes. And the spirit moved on Philip. That's right. And Philip went to the same scripture. That's right. That the eunuch was reading from. That's right. And preached Jesus. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 4, and at verse 16. Follow me in your Bible. Luke chapter 4 and at verse 16. I want to say to all the brothers that minister, I understand if we go to a foreign country and there are no Bibles there for us to read from, that's different. That's but you in a, you write in your country or Amen. your island or your town or your village Amen. and there's Bibles right there yeah. and you tell the people you ain't got to read from the Bible to preach and you go somewhere and sit down. That's right. That's right. You go somewhere and sit down. Because God knows I sit you down. I pull a chair right up under your knees so Amen. quick. Amen. We, have, we don't believe nothing ahead, but what's brother. written in that Bible. That's it. And we ain't going to tolerate nothing but what's written in that Bible. That's right. Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. You know, I'm, a, I, I'm inclined to believe that folks don't take me serious. No. I'm not like a lot of preachers no, who no. start out small and now we have thousands and they get caught up in the midst of the thousands. Not me, brother. Oh, no. Lord, take God, I'm very focused and very focused That's right. on what that Bible said. That's right. And I know more ministers you have, more problems you have. That's true. More people you have, more problems you have. That's right. And I'm encouraging every brother, stick with what's written here. That's it. That's stick it. Stick with what's written. That's right. If you can't stick with what's what is written, get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Just get out. That's right. Get out. Because if you don't get out, I'm going to usher you out <laughs> if I got to catch a plane to do it. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I come up unannounced. That's right. Come as a thief in the night. <laughs> That's right. Yes, yes you I will. will. That's right. All this hard work we're doing to catch souls. Amen. I keep telling the ministers that the people that are coming to the churches, they are listening to this message. Amen. And the message is delivering them from being scripturally ignorant. Right. And they're sitting there following you in the Bible. Amen. And when they hear something come out of your mouth that's not like the Bible, the, Bible. the people going to rise up. <laughs> yes, they will. Yes, they Why? Will. If they come out of falsehood yeah. and came out of being lied to, yeah. they come out of one lie to come in another. That's right. That's right. We're tired of being lied to. Amen. We're tired of being misused. Amen. We're tired of being lied to. That's right. That's right. Am I right, California? Come back to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, well, thank God I'm not sparing no Nobody. bishop, no elder, no minister, no pastor, none of you. That's right. You're going to do what the word of God do That's or right. I'm
taking you out the pulpit. That's right. We're not just dealing with the ministers out there and hit them. No. Glory to God, I'll hit you with the Bible because I was made a preacher. Amen. Glory, and I'm not playing with nothing under the sun. Go ahead, the brother. coming of the Lord is close Go and ahead. we ain't got no time for this foolishness. That's right. God is building a church like Noah built an ark. Go ahead. And the judgment of God Go ahead. is coming on the world. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's coming. It's coming. The judgment of God is coming on creation. That's right. Stick with what's written that, here. That's it. And if you think you can't stick with what's written, then it's best you go out on your own platform oh, yes. and go out there. That's right. Not only that, we refuse to let any preacher yeah. that come in and bring his church in oh, yeah. benefit from the hard work that the truth of God is doing that's right. and fill that church up and then start lying to the people. That's right. We won't tolerate that either. No, we no. have come to your area or get over the air and tell everybody, oh, yeah. get out. Get out. Time to go. <laughs> That's right. We have come there and build a place or buy a place. That's right. And build Why? God made me a builder. That's right. Huh? That's right. God did it. God did it. I trust in nobody but God preach himself. Preach it, brother. Preach it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Preach it. I'm a very independent preacher. That's right. And being an independent preacher, I have set to my seal. That God is true. That God is true. Hallelujah. We're not begging ahead, nobody man. for nothing. We are set soundly. Hallelujah. On God everlasting word. That's right. And God say, preach the word. Preach the word. Don't play. Preach the word. Preach the word. Don't lie. Preach the word. Preach the word. Go ahead. Man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hang God. Hallelujah. Preach it. Preach the word. What did he say? In St. Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. What is it? And he came to Nazareth. I mean this. Oh, yes, you do. Lord, to God, I mean it. That's right. Whether you're in the Bahama Islands, uh, Jamaica, That's Barbados, right. Trinidad, yeah. London, Paris, Amen. France, Spain. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Any brother going detour from the word of God. That's right. And don't want to submit yourself, get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. That's right. Because if you don't get out the pulpit, get out of the wise early. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. If not, I'm going to take you out. Oh, yeah. God knows I'm not playing with nobody. I mean what I'm saying. That's right. Amen. All this hard work we've done. And these Johnny come lately's pop up the swing on the coattail and the success of the truth of God yeah. and gonna bring some rotten and damnable doctrine. Mm. No place, no place is allowed yes. to have a different gospel. That's right. From what's written here. That's right. That's right. None. No place. No place. You tell me you got a revelation. And that revelation is not the same thing the apostles have. That's I'm going right. to blast it back to hell. Yes, you will. Amen. I don't care if you got three people standing with you or a million. I'm going to blast it back to hell. That's right. I believe what is written here. That's right. This work is built solely oh, yes. on what is written. Oh, yes. Nothing made up. Nope. No, I guess, I suppose. No. Uh -uh. Oh, no. It's built solely on what's written. So if anybody out there that's in the truth of God or any of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ where the brothers minister mm -hmm. in America or out who don't take me seriously, mm -hmm. try me. Amen. Just try, Pastor Jenner. There's some fellows that came here and tried it. Oh, yes. And they're not here now. That's right. We, we us, 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 <laughs> ushered them out. That's right. Ushered them out. That's right. Huh? Amen. Oh, yes, we did. We ushered them out. Yes, you did. I don't, I'm not that close with nobody. No, you're not. That I won't usher you out because I know God has made us a builder. That's right. And we are, and we have moved everything out and start from scratch. That's Someone right. said, you don't want to start from scratch. I don't mind. Th that's right. I don't mind at all. No, you don't. I'm not too big to start from scratch. That's right. Not at all. Amen. I'd rather start from scratch and have peace than have a bunch of foolishness and just have a bunch of headaches. That's right. That's right. This is a warning. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. All right, what did he say? St. Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. What is it? And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. Yes. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. As on, his custom was. He went into the synagogue he on the Sabbath day. He went to the day. synagogue on, the, on the day of Sabbath, the day of rest. And stood up for to read. He stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. The book of Isaiah was given to him. And when he had opened the book. Wait a minute. He opened the book. He found the place where it was now, written. Now who are you? you? Ain't got to open the book. That's and you right. got one. Who are you? That's right. Where did you get that deep? You ain't got to open the book. He, he has. Sit down. That's right. Jesus left us an example 
that we should follow his step. That's right. They gave from the scripture. He read from the scripture That's right. and backed up his own preaching with scripture. Amen. He had opened the book. And if you ministers in first church of the Lord Jesus Christ think you ain't got to back up what back you up. say with scriptures, get your britches out the pulpit. That's right. Get your long pants or your high waters <laughs> out the pulpit. Amen. Because God knows if you don't do it, I'm going to set you down, God knows. That's right. We believe what's written. That's right. We're not moving from what's written oh, no. to keep nobody, and we're not moving from what's written to get anybody. That's right. All these thousands of people came to the truth of God, the truth of God. because they heard us pounding on what's written. That's right. Pounding on what's written. That's it. And that's one thing if folks tell the truth, they're not used to someone giving Bible for everything. No. Most people ain't never even heard of such. No, no. Giving Bible for every little detail. For what? You know, some people hem a hem with a wide stitch, yeah. and sometimes the hem come loose. So sometimes you got to get that hem and get it real close. <laughs> that's right. Real close. That way, no matter how much you jump, run, and play, they him stay in place. That's right. I got a fine stitched gospel. Oh, yes. Thank God that keep you in place with God's eternal word. That's right. Amen. And I'm determined to stay at the sewing machine of scripture. Preach it, they keep needling with the word of God there. <laughs> That's right. And That's right. What is that? And it was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. All right, turn Williams up back there, John. Amen. There was delivered. There was delivered unto him the book unto of the him prophet the book Isaiah. Of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book. When he did what? When he had opened the book. When he gave his opinion. When he had opened the book. When he had opened the book. When he gave his personal views. And when he had opened the book. Amen. When he gave his ideology. When he had opened the book. I'm telling you right now, we don't tolerate that stuff. No. One group, well, we're far away. We do it this way. Another group, we do it this way. Not under the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. No way. If you got that mentality, it's best you pack up now. That's right. You may do that stuff in UPC or PAW or FX or UPS, amen, or somewhere else, but not here. Not here. That's true. Not here. No, no. I don't believe in that garbage at all. That's right. That's right. I believe in what's written. What's written? He had apostles, mm -hmm. and they spoke the same thing. That's right. Barnabas and Paul came on later. They spoke the same thing. Now I beseech Matthias, you, Matthias. Matthias came along mm -hmm. after Judas' death, spoke the same thing. That's right. Titus, Erascus, Timothy, and others came along. Philemon and Jude yeah. spoke the same thing. That's right. That's right. Imagine someone getting up. I ain't got to preach with no Bible. I got revelation. Come tell Pastor Jennings that I shoved that lie so far down your throat, you will think you got an enlarged Adam's apple. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I blast that stuff to hell. Did you see what the Bible said Jesus done? And there was delivered unto him. That's why I tell the people, you listen and follow the truth of God follow message. Follow the truth. Follow the truth of God message with the Bible. Then when you sit in these churches, you're able to judge things correctly. That's right. Even That's right. the apostles preach from scripture. That's right. Someone said, how did they do that? And when there was, new there was no written New Testament, they preach from what the prophets have said. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus say, you fools and slow of heart, believe all what the prophets have said. I said. That's the right. apostles refer to what was written. That's right. Eh? And it was delivered unto him. Even though yeah, Jesus rose and came on back the third day. And the Bible said, these are the words that I speak unto you while I was yet with you. That's right. That all things it's must be fulfilled that are written. Were written. That are written. In the law of Moses. He come on back from the dead from preacher the, from what's written. That's right. Hey, you ain't never died and say you ain't got to go by what's written. My Lord. He come from the dead That's right. and still refer to what's written. That's right. That was written that was in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the, prophets, and in the, Psalms, and in the Psalms concerning me. His death didn't change it. That's right. Then open he. They understand. For what reason, that, Williams? That they might understand the scriptures. No, so they can give their opinion. That they might understand the scriptures. So the apostles can have so much anointing, they ain't got to refer to no scriptures. That they might understand the scriptures. Come tell me that. That's right. You see, I, I, I believe what's written here. What is written? You see, when God sent a preacher, when God make him, yeah. he's determined to lead you into the kingdom of God right. That's it. That's right. That's why I tell the folk I'm not like these other so-called bishops or overseers. No. I can't be bought. 
You can't offer me a dollar to make me change this stand. No way. You can't give. If you bought me a brand new Rolls Royce, that's your business. That's right. I see how quick can I trade it in and take that money and buy some jackets. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Get me. Then open he their understanding. Then open he their understanding. That the they, understanding of the apostles. That they might understand the that scriptures. That they might. That they might. That they might understand the scriptures. There so won't be no island uh, or no country or no state thinking that because where you are, no. we're going to be different. It's best you keep going. That's right. And when you make it up in your mind to keep going, if you don't make it up in your mind to keep going, yeah. I'm going to get you going. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to tell all the folk in the air, all right. Amen. Uh, brother so-and-so is no longer part of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll be coming to your area. That's right. All of you that came there, get up and walk out. That's right. That's now. Right. That's right. Be coming to your area to buy a place or build one Wonderful. or rent one. Wonderful. I believe what's written. I'm That's never right. stuck. God have it so that the church is mm. never stuck. Oh, no. Eh? Oh, no. I tell all preachers, even preachers, even preachers that came and gave us their church, I tell them, if you want it back, take it. That's right. Eh? That's right. Because I don't, I'm not the type of man, because you give me your churches, all of a sudden, I'm obligated to you. I'm obligated to God. That's it. I, that, that stuff don't work with me. Oh, no. And, and no, sir. Oh, no. You can't buy me. I'm not a hoe. <laughs> That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Then open he their understanding. Then open he their understanding. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the great God of Abraham. Then open he their understanding. Then open he their understanding. Their understanding. That, you better understand this, that what? That they might understand the scriptures. We're going to understand the scriptures. Everybody going to do the same thing. Same thing. So when you see these preachers popping up, amen, with another gospel, I remember there was a brother that used to be with us in the church in Florence, South Carolina. He rose up mm -hmm. with another doctrine, and the brothers rose up at him and put him out. Amen. Yes, they did. They put him out. Amen. Amen. They got him out of there. Got him out of there. And he ain't been back since. Amen. Amen. You see, you brothers got to understand people's coming to the truth of God. You don't, all folks got all different backgrounds. Right. And here, this message done brought them out of crack, out of drugs, out of prison, out of a hard life, a wild life. That's right. And you think they want to come to be lied to after they done came out of these churches following us in the Bible and witness that they were lied to over and over. Now they come in one of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ right. and somebody's up telling them the same lie. That's right. That they heard a falsehood. Amen. No. Oh, no. No way. Oh, God, that's the time for me to open up my Bible Gatling gun. <laughs> that's eh? right. That's Amen. right. I got to load my Gatling gun with scriptures, Jeremiah, Isaiah, you, Ezekiel, Amen, Maccabees, oh, and Ruth. Yeah. Amen, Matthew, oh, John. Yeah. Amen. And then get my Gatling gun and set it in place that's and right. start shooting. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm, I'm shooting truth at you. That's right. I don't care what bishop came with churches. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. You can take your churches. Amen. Take them back. Amen. I build and buy. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm not playing. No, you're not. We just had a preacher gave us his church about a month ago. Gave mm -hmm. us the whole church here in America. Mm -hmm. But if he wanted it back, he can have it. Amen. He gave us the whole church. And he talked to me himself. He said, mm -hmm. I concluded, Pastor Jennings, I'm not sent to preach. Mm -hmm. I said, you're not sent? He said, no. He said, I look at you, and I have never seen God use a man like this, and I'm almost 80 years old. My Lord. It's not Pastor Jennings. It's God. God. And I'm telling you, brothers, if you don't stick with this message that God gave us, right. you're going to lose the people. That's right. The people going to walk out on you. You're going to lose the people. That's right. Because just like you are learning this message, the people are learning the same message. Oh, yeah. And they're going to follow you in the Bible. Amen. And when you bring something that's not like the Bible, they're going to get up and get out of there. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You're going to lose the people. That's right. Stick with the message. That's it.
Don't tell me this message is wrong. If any of the brothers in First Church say that this message is wrong, come tell Pastor Jennings. Yeah. Don't go behind my back and meet with little ministers where you are, your That's little club, because I'm right. telling you, I'm not having it. That's right. In a foreign country, you think you're going to do one thing no. different from, no, you're not. Oh, no. And claim you the truth of God. Amen. Mm -mm. You met the wrong overseer. That's you right. You met the wrong bishop. <laughs> That's right. Not here. Amen. Not here. That's like our battle false prophets out there. Yeah. I won't tolerate it in here. That's right. Don't tolerate God knows I mean what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we have had older men come in and they saw all this mass crowd of young men and they figured because Pastor Jenner was a young man, right. I didn't know what I was doing. Right. Some came in and hung around for two and three years oh, yeah. thinking they can change me. My God, man, who will waste that kind of time? <laughs> That's right. It's God Almighty made me a preacher. preacher. One bishop came and, uh, and he came in thought he can change me on the Godhead, change me on tithing, yeah. change me on the apostleship, and he thought he can butter me up. He said, you a king. Yeah. Don't you know God made you a king? I told him to a face. I said, you's a liar. Only one king, and Jesus is he. That's right. I'm a servant of the king. That's right. All that flattery don't mean nothing to me. No, I no. am one man who do not bend to flattery. Amen. Flattery don't mean nothing to me. Oh, no. And he was just talking all that smack. <laughs> you a king. You a king. I said, I'm not a king. Right. Jesus is a king. That's right. I'm a servant of the king. That's right. That's who I am. That's right. I know my role. That's right. I know my place. Amen. And the Lord ain't never said, Jesus, you're a king. No, he didn't. No. The Bible says, he that is greatest among you, let and him be your servant. servant. That's right. Wonderful. All that flattery don't mean nothing to me. So yes, I mean this. Oh yes. You, you can't have a following this large and not have problems. But God knows I mean it. If all right. the other brothers in the areas are speaking the same thing, are staying compliant with the word, and if you think you can do it, it's best you pack up and go right now. Go right now. Because I will disassociate myself from you quicker than I can spit. That's I can right. spit pretty quick. That's right. Now I beseech you, brethren. Bible speak plain. In Romans chapter 16 and at verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. Mark them. Mark them which cause division. When you hear the brothers go behind the back of the overseer, the, behind Pastor Jennings' back, mm. oh, well, we don't agree with him no way. You don't? You, mm. And yet I'm preaching the Bible? That's right. Mark them. What you disagree about? Amen. That's right. Bring forth your strong reason. That's right. Preach it, brother. We ain't gonna have one church with another teaching and something. No, 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 no. Oh, no. And hear people coming there because of the message they hear here? Amen. Amen. There's Wonderful. only one message. Wonderful. Be holy or go to hell. That's it. Eh? That's it. See, a lot of bishops are afraid to stand up like this because most preachers, they, they let the preachers do whatever they want because the only thing they're interested in is the financial statement from that congregation. Right. How much money is coming in? Otherwise than that, he'll let the preacher bring any type of dog garbage to the people, not me. That's right. I want the people to be saved. I want the people to have a Holy Ghost Bible diet. That's right. Eh? That's right. God said, preach the word. Preach the word. God said. And if God said, preach the word, all that mess out of P-A-W, keep it in P-A-W. Oh, yeah. Whatever was in U-P-C, keep that U-P-C trash out of here. Amen. Whatever was in the Baptist, keep it in the Baptist. Yeah. Whatever was in the Methodist, keep it in the Methodist. That's Whatever's right. in holy, we're going to keep, keep holiness right. holy. That's I right. said we're going to keep holiness That's it. holy. That's right. That's what the Bible said. That's right. You better get that real quick now. Yes. Yeah, man, you better get no, the right. wisdom of Solomon if I'm correct. Yeah. Listen at this now. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Follow me in the Bible. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Listen at this. And we'll start at verse 19. Come on quick, son. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. And the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. All right. Beg your pardon. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 10. All right, the wisdom of Solomon, 6 and 10. For they that keep holiness. They that keep holiness. Holy. Holy. Shall be judged holy. Get UPC out of here. That's right. Get PAW out of here. That's right. Get Methodist and Presbyterian and Lutheran trash out of here. They that keep holiness. And when you try to bring it in, I'm going to throw you out of here. So, that's right. Because this is what we keep. 
They better keep holiness holy. Keep holiness UPC. They better keep holiness holy. No, keep holiness PAW. Keep holiness holy. Keep holiness Baptist. Keep holiness holy. It ain't nobody going to turn holiness into something else. That's right. We are going to keep holiness. Holy. Holy. Shall be judged holy. So we can be judged. Holy. Holy. And they that have learned such things. And they that do what? Have learned such have things. Have learned such things. Shall find what to answer. We learned it. That's right. Learned it. Eh? Learned it. We Hello. learned it. That's it. All that UPC and PAW trash, no head covering and women can preach. Women, you can't tell whether the women are preachers or trying to testify or give a sermon. That's right. No teaching, no structure. That's right. Acting deacons, junior elders, junior pastors, and all this half pint foolishness. <laughs> Amen. Deaconess, all of this mess that come out of hell. Oh, yes. Everything that go on that contradict the word of God and fellows know that we should go along with it. Mm -hmm. Not here. Oh, no. Uh-uh. You got to let, you got to let another bishop do that. That's Amen. Right. In plain street terms, homie don't play that. Amen. Mm-mm. Amen. I came out of that stuff. Yeah. And uh, the thousands that are in the truth, they came out of the same kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. And they want something to renew them. That's right. They, otherwise than that, it's best we stayed in the type of junk we were in. That's right. They that keep holiness. Hey! That keep holiness. That keep holiness. Holy. We're going to keep it. Keep holiness holy. If I got to lose you, Williams, I'm going to keep it. That, that's right. Huh? Yes, you will. If I got to lose you, Santana, I'm going to keep it. That's right. Rob, if I got to lose you. I'm going to keep it. That's right. Martinez, if I got to lose you, I'm going to keep holding this. Holy. Holy Huey, you can walk around with Teach that camera all you want, but if I got to lose you, yeah. I'm going to do what? Keep holding this holy. That's when you wonderful. keep holding this holy, you keep God first. That's right. And this is where the world went wrong. That's right. God is not first in the church no more. Amen. God must be first. In the church. That's right. That's right. Pastor Jennings ain't first. No. That's why when you testify, don't ever give honor to me first. No, no. Uh-uh, no, that's wrong. That's you right. recognize the Lord Jesus Christ first, which is God Almighty. That's it. You don't even recognize me second. No. You recognize the former prophets and the apostles after you recognize the Lord our God. That's right. Why? They were here before me. That's right. After you recognize the former apostles and the prophets, then you recognize your overseer, then you recognize the body of Christ. That's it. But you don't get up and testify. We thank God for Pastor Jennings. If it wasn't from him, I wouldn't be here. I'm not your God. Oh, no. Uh -uh, no, 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 no. Now you're giving me too much honor. Amen. You see, a real pre these preachers won't tell you that. No. These preachers sit back. They love that. No, no. Oh, Amen. Man. And, well, Pastor Jennings, if it wasn't from you, no, no, no. If it wasn't from God using me. That's right. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. I'm like a puppet, you know. Yo. A puppet is not of himself. Right. You got the puppet, then you got the puppet master. The puppet can't do nothing on his own. Right. When a puppet master pull a string, the arm go up, the arm go down, the arm go up, the arm go down, the leg go up, the leg go down. <laughs> That's the way it is. That God of heaven got my mouth, and when he pulled a string, he make it open wide. What? Thank God that I may tell you what the word of God says. That's right. Yeah. They that keep holiness. They that keep holiness. Holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Shall be God. judged holy. Shall be judged holy. And they that have learned such things. They that learn such things. Shall find what to answer. I'm not moving. That's right. I done told preachers, and all of you out there heard me, mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. we have declared by God permission. Oh, yes. I'm not moving. That's right. Too many men done came in here, thought they can change, change. this. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. And, they, and we was already established before they got here. <laughs> That's right. I'm not moving. No. We're not trying to design... Uh, the First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ to mimic some other organization. I don't care nothing about these organizations. No. All I'm interested in is the God word living by it so I don't go to hell. That's it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That's what interests me. Amen. But I want to say to all the locations around the world, if anybody think they're going to have a different gospel, a total different gospel, totally a different, different gospel. message, and they're going to say, well, God gave us a total different message. Mm. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to challenge that message. That's right. Pastor Jennings is going to challenge that message, and I'm going to challenge it with the Bible, and I'm going to tell you right now, God's word going to win. That's right. I don't care how much anointing you got. I don't care how much you shake behind the pulpit. We're going to blast it back to hell. Oh, yeah. All the ministers, 
are to preach and stand for the same, same thing. thing. Whoever think they can't do it, get out the pulpit or I'm taking you out. That's right. If you came in with your church, you can keep your piece of brick and keep your old mortar and I take the church out the building. That's right. Wonderful. I'll pull everybody out. Amen. Yes, I will. Amen. Don't want to say you won't have a preacher. Don't believe that lie. Don't believe that. Eh? That's right. Thank God I get a faithful brother. Give me the book of Timothy fast. That's right. Amen. If I don't have a preacher, I get a faithful brother. That's right. Eh? That's right. God. Give me the book of Timothy, son. Second Timothy chapter 2. We'll start at verse 1. Second Timothy, the second chapter, begin at verse 1. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace. Now therefore, my Lord, son, take be God, strong. my son. Be strong. In the grace that is in Christ Jesus. In the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me. Look at them. The things that you heard of me. Among many witnesses. Among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men. You commit this to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach be others able also. Who shall teach others also. He didn't say commit it to faithful preachers. No, faithful men. He just said just give it to faithful men. Faithful men. And when you give it to faithful men, when they have it, what they'll be able to do. Who shall be able to teach others also. Amen. Sometimes I may have a faithful brother, That's not right. a minister. That's right. But he learned the message. He learned holiness. He got it in him. That's right. And he knew how to teach it. He knew how to bring it. Right. Now, if that brother is trustworthy and uh, he won't err in scripture, right. we can send him somewhere. That's right. To encourage the people. That's right. To bring them faithful word. That's right. Faithful brothers. And that they may be able to teach others. That's right. So we don't do this stuff like these other so-called organizations. No. This group, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the highway shall be there. And a the highway shall be, back in Isaiah 35 and verse 8. Come on now. And a highway shall be there and a way. And it shall be called the way of, of holiness. And what? The unclean shall not pass over. All right, if you want to pass over, woman preacher, you got to give up your credentials and shut down. That's right. That's All right. the women preachers that said women God preachers. called and sent them to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. you, was, you believe a lie, you was led wrong. That's right. Well, I know what the Lord told me. Let me educate you. God ain't never tell anybody anything that contradict his own word. That's right. That's right. So if you thought God told you, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. I listened at the many testimonies from men and women last night at the service. Some were women preachers and told me, Pastor Jennings, you have opened my eyes. I told them, well, God opened them. Yeah. God have opened them just through this message. Oh, yeah. Amen. Credentials tore up, term thing, came out of the pulpit. pits. Amen. Amen. So called junior bishops. Imagine that a junior bishop. Either you're a real bishop or not. That's right. That's right. Junior elders and junior deacons. There's a whole lot of juniors around here. A lot here. of juniors. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Junior bishop and senior bishop. Either you're a bishop or you're not a or bishop. Or you're not. But God knows we're not moving the size of a gnat's eyelash on his left eye in the corner of it. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's you right. You know, when your eyelash go to the corner, they start getting smaller. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and that the eyelash in the corner of the gnat, Amen. we're not moving from it. Oh, no. A highway shall be there. We want everybody to get on God's highway and away. And it shall be called the way of holiness. You want to be holy, you got to repent of your sins. Who, Pastor Jen, is every body under the sun? That's right. You must repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. You got to repent of your sins. That's it. Be sorry about your wickedness. That's right. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and pack up and get out of the church you're in. That's right. Get out of the church you're in. Get out. Get out. Get out of it. I don't care of the position you got, how much money you gave. I know it may hurt you when you think about the amount of money you gave. I understand what that hurt is. Amen. But bless God what doeth profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. Acts 38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, L.A. Amen. Repent. You already called Los Angeles. You're lost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Lost. Amen. Oh, Amen. city. You're lost city. You're lost. lost. That lets you know you of the devil. That's right. Los Angeles. Lost people. Lost people. Eh? Los Angeles. Lost people. Lost angels. That's right. Eh? And you do got some angels that are lost. Oh, yes. They was put out of heaven because they took sides with Lucifer. And the Bible said they are reserved in chains of darkness unto the day of judgment. That's right. 
The Bible says what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right, now you repent. And be baptized, and be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's how you get your sins washed away. You got to be sorry about your sins. That's right. Be baptized. Your whole body got to go in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, meaning for the removal of your sins. And you shall receive and the you gift shall of the Holy Ghost. receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you. And to your children. And to your children and to those that is afar off, even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. And the word of God says the Lord hath spoken. He hath called the whole earth. From the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. You know, a lot of folk appreciate this kind of leadership. Yeah. Because a lot of churches or organizations they came out of did the exact same thing that I'm talking about. Right. You know, I've heard of pe people talk to me of the different organizations they came out of. One group told me, they said, well, the organization we came out of, where we were, we've done our own thing. Hmm. The preacher preached something different. That preacher preached something different. That preacher, no, no. no I won't tolerate that at all. No. Not at all. You know why? The Bible made a commandment. That's right. That ye all speak, speak the same, the same thing. thing. If the Bible said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the in name the of name, Jesus yeah, Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that means everybody got to do it. it that's right. All right, you lost angels. <laughs> Anybody want to be right with God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Now stand on your feet. If you want it, stand on your feet now. Glory oh, to God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Go right to the back now. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing. Yeah? Wonderful. You know, he told his apostles, I, I will make you fishers of men. Fishes of men. That's what he told his apostles. So it is not uh, me catching them. That's right. God is catching them through me. That's it. Amen. God is doing it. Because the Lord told his apostles, that's it right. is not you that speak it. That's right. It's a voice of my father speaking in you. In other words, you get out of it. Yeah. Because God, let, God knows that he knows how he wants to catch them. That's right. And he used his own word to catch them. That's it. You know, in the natural, there's some fishermen can teach you how to fish. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, don't fish at that spot. You go over there. Right. When you drop your hook there or drop your net there, you'll get plenty. You drop your net there, you don't get nothing. God showed me how to catch. Wonderful. And if you was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you ain't baptized at all. You just right. wet. That's right. You just wet. Amen. You, you got to be baptized in the name right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. That's like my name. I'm, 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 I'm a son yeah. by birth. Husband by marriage and father because me and my wife got seven youngins. Oh, yeah. If I sign a check in my name, I ain't gonna put son, husband, and father. No. Did you get what I'm telling you? Amen. And you go and kick your complaining. Pastor Jenner, you signed son, but uh, the check bounced. That's right. <laughs> then I take it, give you another one. Father. Mm -hmm. Bounce. Preacher. Bounce. Mm -hmm. Brother. Bounce. Until I put my name there, the check ain't got no power. That's right. Until you get the name of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in baptism, your baptism don't have no power. You're still a sinner. Still a sinner. I don't care if you've been ordained something or you go to some little church or hold some position, your position, use a sinner holding the position. That's right. If you know I'm repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not born of the water. Yeah. If you don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue as a believer, seek him the Holy Ghost until the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost, you're not born of the Spirit. May God bless you. Come on back. Service will begin at 5 o'clock. And uh, you come on back now while they get prepared for baptism. And I won't be able to stay around. I got to move out so I can get back here quick enough because we got a flight to catch. So I got a congested schedule. So for me to get back here in time, I won't be able, if I don't get a chance to greet you after this session, I greet you now. Greetings, everybody, and peace be unto you, everybody. Amen. Let us all stand. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for this day. We thank you, Father God, how you watched out over us and kept us and blessed us up to this present hour. We thank you, Father God, for the truth of the gospel that was delivered in our hearing this day. Bless us now not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Remember those that desire to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, that you may also fill them with the gift of the Holy Ghost according to your will and your purpose. Bless every one of us that are here this day. My God, encourage every heart, every mind, and every soul. We pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.